Obviously, clinical exposure is really important at Rush as at many medical schools. And you mentioned that shadowing is something where they're viewed as being passive. I assume virtual shadowing would be even more, more passive and perhaps less desirable, or, or am I wrong there? And so, is, there, so, is there any so, clinical exposure that's particularly good? Yeah, so COVID, COVID is a different uh, animal in this, and we recognize that. And that's why I said we were more lenient uh, in terms of what people had the possibility to do, where they live, maybe they're in a rural environment, you know, et cetera. Maybe, they, maybe they're taking care of someone who's in their family who is ill. So we looked at that as well and, and, and you know, made, made um, conditions for that. Minus COVID though, it's okay to shadow, to get a sense of, hmm, do I like this? I, I wanna see a little bit more of this or whatever. And that's okay. But when your entire application is all shadowing, what that tells the reviewer is you have had no active participation. Watching someone is totally different than you talking to that patient. So we see people, for example, who, do, who are clinical research coordinators. And this is an excellent exposure because you actually are sitting down and talking to a patient in a clinical trial, going through the informed consent, talking about the adverse effects that uh, could happen or complications, hearing that person's concern, talking about their, the, the particular disease or condition that they're enrolling in. You're face to face with somebody and you are using your oral communication and your interpersonal skills. That's direct patient contact. But watching another physician or other providers do something is just not the same. So I'm not saying no shadowing, but when it's only shadowing, uh, that the, the, the particular reviewer, you know, may not uh, look at that as being you knowing what a doctor's life is like, or what, a, what it's like to be in a team, or what it's like to talk to a patient who, might, who may be in hospice. 